Hi everyone, let's talk about Sophie Germain's identity. What we want to do is factor the following expression, x to the power of 4 plus 4 times y to the power of 4. So this seems impossible, right? And it's quite unusual, but it turns out there is a trick that we can use. And what we'll do is complete the square. Now usually when we complete the square we insert a constant term but in this case we'll be inserting the middle term. So what we get is that x to the power of 4 plus 4y to the power of 4 is equal to x square squared plus 2y squared squared and now the middle term that's missing is x squared we get the middle term is 2x squared times 2y squared plus the square of 2y squared and now we subtract the middle term to get 2x squared 2y squared and now we can factor the first three terms to get x squared plus 2y squared squared and the last term is 2xy squared. And now we have a difference of squares. So what that gives us is x squared minus 2xy plus 2y squared times x squared plus 2xy plus 2y squared. And that's Sophie Germain's factorization. Now I want to show you one more way of writing this which is that another way of writing it is that x minus y squared plus y squared times x plus y squared plus y squared is equal to the original expression. And this is this second form is often useful in math contests and Olympiads. So that's Sophie Germain's factorization, and uh, I just want to show you one other similar factorization that uses a an idea that is similar to this one, which is the factorization of x to the power of four plus x squared y squared plus y to the power of 4. And what we do is that we we add and subtract x squared and y squared. So we get x to the power of 4 plus 2x squared y squared plus y to the power of 4 minus x squared y squared. And this is equal to x squared plus y squared squared. And we have minus the square of xy and that's a difference of squares once again and it gives us x squared minus xy plus y squared times x squared plus xy plus y squared. So it's a similar idea. We, we complete the square by fudging the middle term and then we use difference of squares. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.